हेलो एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग एंड हेयर मी क्रिसमस प्लीज ओके डियर नो नो प्रॉब्लम वी वेट टू मिनट फॉर अनदर पार्टिसिपेंट जॉइन ओके देन वी विल स्टार्ट आवर मेन सेशन ओके 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 डियर सो होपफुली ऑल ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेंट जॉइन इन आवर सेशन so okay so welcome to our 8 days online training program on google earth engine for remote sensing analysis okay in this course in this google earth engine course we uh, focus okay totally beginners who don't have any programming uh, knowledge or who don't have any uh, knowledge about google earth engine okay participant hear me perfectly and again welcome uh, to our 8 days online training program on google earth engine so first of all introduce yourself shortly okay just uh, tell me your name and your region then we will start our main session okay so anyone first response please okay anyone else response please assalamu alaikum from bangladesh okay hello everyone i am uh, from bangladesh okay okay and another uh, participant text in our session so no problem okay alexander from ecuador south america okay dear okay so thank you everyone first of all i simply share my screen wait a minute okay so hopefully my screen is visible okay yes or no response please okay okay dear okay thank you so okay we start uh, our main session now i am going to my uh, presentation slide okay so hi and welcome to the 8 days online training program on google earth engine for remote sensing analysis okay so i, I am a course coordinator mb shofia roman from bangladesh and our another course uh, coordinator tasmia uh, from from bangladesh okay we are uh, google earth engine expert gis and rs analyst and also xjs qjs expert okay so this is our uh, mention mail if face any wrong issue with the uh, regarding your practice issue anyone uh, uh, anyone can mail anytime okay in our uh, mention mail or in my personal uh, whatsapp number okay so let's go so first of all we uh, discuss about our total course outline okay total 8 days course outline okay first of all we learn introducing about google earth engine okay what is google earth engine how google earth engine work all of the introduction or introducing part of, of google earth engine we will learn then we will uh, how to create google earth engine account that means how you can easily get registration uh, with google earth engine account by using your uh, valid google account okay then we learn introducing about google earth engine code editor okay google earth engine have powerful javascript code editor we learn all of the part of google earth engine code editor okay then we learn um, basic javascript uh, syntax in google earth engine platform okay okay we learn basic javascript syntax in google earth engine platform then we learn in introducing uh, client versus server object in google earth engine how our site uh, uh, our site work in google earth engine code editor or google earth engine platform and also server side that means google earth engine side earth engine side how can work okay we will learn all of the things then we will learn basic of import and export any raster and vector data in google earth engine platform okay suppose how you can easily import your csv file or image or any uh, shape file in your uh, google earth engine asset tab okay how you can easily import and also export how you can easily export any uh, csv data okay or any geotiff images or shape file or C uh, csv file all of the things how you can easily import and export any raster and vector data using google earth engine platform okay then we learn band combination using satellite imagery okay lots of band combination available in uh, satellite imagery so we learn uh, lots of band combination step by step in uh, google earth engine platform okay 
using any satellite imagery and also we learn band combination of different data set in Google Earth PhD platform okay and also we learn how to filtering satellite images in Google Earth Engine platform okay how you can easily filter any satellite suppose Landsat satellite imagery Sentinel satellite imagery or Modi satellite okay imagery how you can easily filter how you can easily filter uh, by your specific study area a specific time frame okay specific image metadata okay all of the things uh, describably we will learn in our total eight days course outline okay also we learn how to display okay how to display this satellite imagery in google earth engine platform okay and how you can easily finally display your uh, required result and also we learn normalize difference vegetation index that means ndvi okay how you can easily um, analyze uh, make an analysis with ndvi okay in google earth engine platform by using sentinel imagery or landsat imagery or modi satellite imagery okay then we will learn evi that means enhanced vegetation index okay as well as we learn uh, ndwi that means normalized difference water index so we learn normalized difference build up index that means ndbi and also we learn normalized different drought index ndti okay and also we learn normalized difference snow index ndsi and other indices we will learn in google earth engine platform okay and okay rest part also we learn soil moisture index okay smi soil moisture index using different data set in google earth engine platform and also we learn calculating average of soil moisture index in google earth engine platform okay and also we learn how to calculate how you can easily calculate land surface temperature lst okay satellite imagery as well as how you can easily calculate land surface temperature lst using landsat satellite imagery okay we will learn all the things then also we learn how to calculate land aerosol optical depth aod okay aerosol optical depth land aerosol optical depth using google earth engine google earth engine platform and also how to make time series chart and time series uh, data for lst and also as well as we learn how to make time series chart for any indices suppose ndvi ndwi ndvi okay ndsi all of the thing we learn how you can easily make time series chart and time series data for lst and also all of the indices okay and then we learn how to calculate carbon monoxide co unit mole per meter square using google earth engine platform how you can easily estimate okay total co that means carbon monoxide uh, in your study area using google earth engine platform and also we learn how to calculate nitrogen dioxide no2 unit is mole per meter square using google earth engine platform okay for any um, any uh, region or your required study area <clears throat> and also we learn how to calculate sulfur dioxide so2 okay sulfur dioxide so2 unit is mole per meter square using google earth engine platform by using sentinel 5 imagery okay and also we learn how to calculate methane ch4 okay using google earth engine platform and also we learn how to make time series chart for any year quality indices okay how you can easily make time series chart and time series data for o, <coughs> no2 or so2 okay all of the things we will learn in google earth engine platform and also we learn how to make hill shade slope and aspect map using different data set if uh, using different dam data set or okay. digital elevation data okay how you can easily make hill shade map slope map aspect map using different data set in google earth engine suppose nasa srtm okay australian dam and lots of the dam data set available in google earth engine platform we will learn these things and also we learn how to export hill shade slope and aspect map using different data set how you can easily make your analysis and how you can easily export your final result okay also we learn how to uh, create or make lulc map land use land cover classification map using google earth engine platform we will learn supervised lulc and unsupervised lulc in this course okay how you can easily make or create lulc map using google earth engine platform and also how to apply you see how to, how to apply supervised and unsupervised uh, lulc okay using google earth engine and also lo lo lots of the ready made data set suppose modis lulc okay esa lulc globe uh, land over 
okay world data set we will handle and make our llc and also we learn how to apply okay how you can easily apply random forest and cart classifier in google earth engine platform and also we learn accuracy assessment of llc okay uh, suppose we uh, make our llc work and then we uh, assessment of accuracy of the result of llc suppose a uh, lot of the and accuracy available in google earth engine platform suppose uh, um, kappa accuracy producer accuracy and other okay all first day course item okay in our first day course items first of all we learn introducing about google earth engine then we learn how to make or how to register your google earth engine account by using your valid google account okay familiarity with the basic javascript uh, syntax for running google earth engine platform uh, okay uh, suppose we have basic javascript syntax we will learn in this platform then we learn uh, how do you get your code to run on the server that means google earth engine uh, server okay first of all we learn <laughs> what do you need print function okay so print what is our print function print function is printing anything as a result suppose we use the print function okay print print and we put here the hello everyone okay hello everyone now we click to the run when you click to the run console tab is our result showing shape you put here the hello everyone so this is the print function always we use at the uh, for printing anything we use at this print function print print function okay print function is printing anything suppose we want to print <laughs> any number suppose this number we want to print now click to the run so now we see here the uh, result showing our right side uh, right uh, side of computer and also showing our console tab now we see here that this number is showing our result okay suppose if you want to print any name suppose any name suppose we put here the print print suppose bangladesh Bangladesh now click to the run now we see that this result so this print this Bangladesh result show in our console tab okay so this